If you're not a student of history, become one. There truly is nothing new under the sun when it comes to human interaction. Read headlines from 70 years ago, and if it were not for some archaic, old-fashioned words and the names of the players, they are virtually indistinguishable from today's. Peel back another hundred years, and you will find the same. Articles and editorials on health care, immigration, taxes, war, political infighting, politicians attacking one another, protests in the streets, ads for all manner of miracle cures and medicines and diets. We are destined to repeat the past when we fail to recognize it. Nothing changes if nothing changes. When we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Now we all know or have met people with closed minds, essentially sleepwalking through life. We usually find them at family gatherings in the workplace. They have little or no interest in any new information or considering a different point of view. They are set in their ways. Curiosity long dead. Living on the spiritual basis requires us to be open-minded, to be open to fresh winds of thought, considering all points of view dispassionately, curious to learn and to grow regardless of our chronological age or circumstances. Now, to be clear, living in the light does not mean these fresh winds necessarily blow away our beliefs or change our opinions, though they may but it is a demonstration of open-mindedness, compassion for those we may disagree with, for they, like us, are children of the Most High. One of the measures of an individual's spiritual condition is how they treat their fellows. But of these measures, how we treat those we find disagreeable is paramount. So do not allow yourself to fall asleep at the switch mentally. Keep your consciousness switched on by praying and meditating daily to be shown God's will and how you may be of service to your fellows. Keep your faith lively, your connection to the divine open, for by doing so we grow and gently prod those slumbering around us. Whether they choose to rouse themselves is their demonstration. Ours is to serve as a consistent example of living in the light, regardless and often in spite of any and all criticism. My name is Vincent Lee Jones. You can find my videos on Facebook at Miracles of Recovery, on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook as well at Vincent Lee Jones. And you can find my writings on Blogspot. Thought of the page, Living in Spirit. Have a blessed day.